Hello, it's the Math Lady, and today we're going to talk about slopes. Specifically, positive, negative, zero, and undefined. So say positive, negative, zero, and eh? I need like the little, I need the little emoji, a little girl going, eh? I don't know, undefined. There we go. Positive, negative, zero, and undefined. My art skills on display. Okay, so what makes a slope any of these four things? Well, first, before we actually get into drawing it, let's think about the math of it. I mean, that is why we're here after all, right? Math? Slope is rise over run when we're talking about lines. How much if we have a line and we go, ah, it starts here and it goes, it rises three and it runs three. My slope is three over three. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. I'm trying not to hiccup in your ear. They just won't go away. <laughs> slope is three over three. So that's our idea, rise over run. It's a fraction. Another way of thinking about fractions, if we're just thinking in general math terms, Say if I had a fraction of 4 over 2, that's the same as 4 divided by 2 or 2, right? 4 over 2, 4 divided by 2, same thing. This is going to play a big role here. If I have a positive number, like 9, and I divide by another positive number, I am going to get a positive number. If I have a negative number divided by a positive, I get a negative. Our other two scenarios, as I slide that over, another way to get a positive is a negative number divided by a negative number. That also gives me a positive. Or I could have a positive divided by a negative, which will give me a negative. So here's our two main ways we can divide and get positives and negatives. On the left here, I have a positive divided by a positive gives me a positive. On the right, a negative divided by a negative gets me a positive. On our bottom, we have our two negative scenarios. Negative nine divided by three is a negative number three. Positive nine divided by a negative three equals negative three. Okay, well how if I'm dividing, all that be gone. I really should have just selected that and then deleted it. Eh, hindsight's 2020. How would I get a zero result if I was dividing? Well, if I have zero divided by anything, it could be two, it could be 27, it could be 27 million. Zero divided by anything is zero. So if I have a zero on top of this fraction, I'm getting zero. Well, what if I reversed that and the zero's on the bottom? Mm, I can't do that. I can't divide by zero. So this would be, there's no answer. It's undefined. Yeah, made that F kind of interesting as my, <laughs> my stylus swooped it together. So if I have a zero on top, that would be zero when I divided that. If I had a zero on bottom, that would be undefined. And I'm guessing you can see where I'm going with this. I hope you can. If not, no worries. We're going to go through everything just to make sure everyone's on the same page. I am really bad at getting that. See, I always do that. It always goes to like 89. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens when we start drawing lines and where we get those positive and negative slopes from. So, okay, so I'm gonna bring my ruler back and say, what if I have a line like, I'm just really bad at making a line up. I admit it, I freely admit it, okay and I'll get it dead on and then it'll move. Stay. I'm talking to 
a disobedient puppy and not a computer program. Okay. So I'm drawing my line and this line goes through the point zero, zero. And I'm using my little grid here, just as a one to one, nothing, no shenanigans going on. And up at the top, it is two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, six. Those are my two points. So my slope for this would be, well, let's see, it is, oh, and let me make a little note just to remind everyone, X and Y, positive X, negative X, positive Y, negative Y. So this line is going from zero and I'm going to break out my little rainbow colored pen because why not? Really? Come on. And it's going up one, two, three, four, five, a six. It is rising six and it's going towards the positive. So that's a positive six and it's running one, two towards the positive X. Okay. So it is rising six over its run, which is two and six divided by two is three. And note, I said it was a positive rise because it's going up. It's a positive run because it's going to the right. Positive divided by positive equals a positive. Well, what if I had started at two, six and went to zero, zero? What if I'd done that? Well, you get the same answer. It's fine. So here I'm going to start at two, six and say, okay, so my rise is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going down, going six down. So that's a negative six rise. And then my run, well, it just really doesn't like my stylus at the moment. It's, it's just really, it's having issues. Stop it. Stop it. All right, there we go. It goes one, two to the left to the negative. So that's a negative two run. Well, look at there, we've got our two negative numbers, negative six divided by negative two equals again, positive three. It's still a positive slope. Okay. So that would be our positive slope. And any of these lines, I'm gonna kind of get everything gone here so we don't have any distractions. And I just don't like redrawing <laughs> coordinates <laughs> over and over coordinate planes. So anything, any line that is going, if we're looking from left to right, if it is going up as it goes from left to right, that is going to have a positive slope. Any of these lines I'm drawing, they all have positive slopes because as we're going, from left to right, it's going up, even if it's going up ever so slowly. Those are all positive slope lines. If I take the rise over the run, it's either going to be a positive over a positive, or if I'm going that away, a negative over a negative. So what about negative slopes? Well, our negative slopes are ones that are going the other way. So if we are looking like we're reading from left to right, it's going downhill. Again, there's our Y, our X, plus, minus, plus, and the minus. So I'm going to draw a line here. Mm, let's do like this. Okay. Why did it skip? Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Okay, that's just sad. Okay, it it is it is my computer is revolting and it does not like my stylus today. It's like no, I will not let you draw on a computer screen, for I am laptop and I refuse. Okay, so let's say I have two points here and this is one, two, three, negative three, three. See one, two, three. And my other point here is zero, one. So what is the slope? Rise over run. I'm gonna use blue. My rise, it's going down 
one, two. So a negative two, because we're going towards the negative here. And then my run is one, two, three. That is a positive three. It's going towards the positive side of the x-axis. So negative two divided by three, negative two thirds. That's my slope. What if I started at zero, one and went to negative three, three? Okay, so my rise, whoop, whoop, negative, I'm sorry, positive two, ah, positive two because I'm going towards the positive on the y-axis. And then my run is one, two, three, negative three because I'm going towards the negative on the x-axis. So again, negative two thirds, same thing. So that's how we get our negative slopes. And if we're looking at lines that are going down, if we're looking at them from left to right, here's some more. There's one with a negative slope. It can be almost vertical, but not, not quite vertical. As long as it's going down, if we're going from left to right, all of these are negative, those are all negative slopes because it's going downhill from left to right. So that leaves, our last ones are zero and undefined. So we'd said that if we have a zero on top of an equation and we had any number on the bottom, I'm just picking three, zero divided by three is zero. So what kind of line would have a zero rise? It's not rising at all. Ta-da. This line is not rising at all. It is only running. So no matter where I am, it hasn't gone up. Like this point here is zero, two. This point over here, one, two, three, four, five, zero. But <laughs> sorry, not um, uh, zero, two. Sorry, six, two. Six, two. Zero, two, and six, two. And if I'm going this way, one, two, three, we have over here, negative four, two. So that Y coordinate two hasn't changed. It's staying the same in all three places. So the rise is zero. It hasn't risen. No matter which two points I compare, I can say, ah, those points are six apart. Those points over there are negative four apart. Doesn't matter. Slope is zero because the rise is zero, that zero on top. And I bet you can see where I'm going with this as I back up, because I don't like drawing coordinate graphs. The ruler doesn't like me, it's just the way it is. All right, will you behave? There we go. Hey, hey, first try. And our last one. What if I have a vertical line? It's not running anywhere. It's rising forever, but it's not running. So my rise, I could have a point here and a point here. So that's point three, one on the bottom. And then three, one, two, three, four, three, four on the top. The run hasn't changed. It hasn't gone anywhere on the X axis. So it's gone up three, it's risen three, but it hasn't run anywhere. So there's a zero on the bottom. And three divided by zero is undefined. And here's the return of my little, I don't know. Yeah, she shouldn't be smiling. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there is no answer. It's undefined. Okay, so those are our four main slopes and those are the reasons why when we say, oh, if it goes up to the right, it's positive. If it goes down to the right, it's negative. Horizontal zero, vertical is undefined. Well, why? This is why. So I hope that helps when you're having to look on a test and try to figure out which one is which and how to do some quick little math if you're having um, problems remembering. I always think that's a good idea to know why something is true. I think that helps you remember it better. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember why. Anyway, I digress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to watch more math related videos and helpful hints, please click on any one of our videos at the end, some of our playlists or in the links in the description below. Thanks for stopping by and please, um, 
<laughs> I always fumble this. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.